Hello friends, welcome to Weathercast. In today's video, I'll talk about the Bay of Bengal system and uh, how is it going to be beneficial for the advancement of monsoon 2020. All right, so to begin with, let us first look at what is the status of the monsoon. Where is the northern limit of monsoon as of today? So if you see, uh, as of 7th June, the monsoon has progressed to many parts of coastal Karnataka. Uh, so the northern limit is passing through Karwar and uh, through south interior Karnataka and uh, through Chennai. So basically it has covered uh, most of Tamil Nadu, uh, Kerala, coastal Karnataka and some parts of south interior Karnataka. Uh, this, this is despite the two cyclones which came and went by. One was very strong, other was moderate. So despite the presence of these two cyclones, the monsoon performance so far in terms of its, in terms of its advancement is pretty good because uh, you see that it is mostly on time. Okay, it is not delayed too much. Maybe a day here and there is, is it's all right. Uh, I feel this is mostly because of the neutral El Nino conditions that we are seeing. So the, the winds from the Pacific or the trade winds which carry the moisture they are uh, kind of coming in at a good pace and the walker cell is also pretty active right so that is uh, the reason why even uh, the in, in the presence of two cyclones the monsoon has not been uh, deterred so far like it is keeping its on time uh, performance so that is a good news so now things are looking pretty favorable because the bay of bengal system is uh, confirmed it is going to form in the central bay of Bengal somewhere around here on 8th of June uh, so starting tomorrow we should see a low pressure system in the bay of Bengal central bay of Bengal and uh, slowly it is going to track uh, north north uh, northwards uh, trajectory so it is going to move uh, northwestwards and it is also going to uh, probably intensify into a depression it's possible because the MJO is active and also there is now something known as MISO which is monsoon intra-seasonal oscillation so the as the ITCZ keeps moving up the MISO kicks in and uh, that provides energy for the systems to intensify so this will become a deep dep uh, sorry depression uh, that is what I expect it will not uh, intensify above that okay so it will from low pressure system it will become a depression and then it will move towards the west uh, so there is one system in Bay of Bengal which is here and if you see there is also a, a cyclonic uh, upper air circulation which is prevailing in the Arabian Sea. It is staggered so it is basically part of that is in the Arabian Sea and part of that is in the land. So this is also going to help the monsoon system. So under the influence of these two systems the monsoon is going to progress starting tomorrow which is June 8th and uh, what we are going to see is that it is slowly going to progress to Goa uh, and then it, also, it will also cover Telangana and uh, Andhra Pradesh, most of Andhra Pradesh. That will happen before June 9th or 10th and then it will come to the Maharashtra border uh, state and it will uh, likely make an onset over Bombay around June 12th and also Pune will also uh, see the onset around the same date. and. Uh, part of parts of Maharashtra like um, Marathwada will also see onset around June 12th and 13th so Bombay onset is around June 12th that is what I expect uh, so that is uh, looking good because the system is going to help the monsoon progress uh, pretty fast and also uh, that is uh, June 12th is mostly an on-time arrival of monsoon because the climatological date is June 11th as per the revised uh, dates given by IMD so June 12th is not uh, too late it's just one day delayed that is absolutely fine okay so if you also look at in terms of rainfall so if you look at this particular Bay of Bengal system this will be active until June 14th or 15th and uh, in the presence of this we have something known as an offshore trough that forms on the west coast right so basically the dipping patterns of the wind in the sea is what is called the offshore trough so the offshore, offshore trough will be somewhere here as you can see this is the, the, the winds are dipping and you can also see that the winds are pretty high the westerly speeds are pretty high 
So what this offshore trough is going to do is it is going to form cloud bands here and then it is these strong westerlies will push it towards the west coast. So because of the system in bay and also because of the prevailing upper air circulation in the Arabian Sea which is staggering the land, this offshore trough is going to bring a lot of rain to the west coast between June 10th and 14th. Okay, so That is what is expected. Right. Uh, so specifically for Bombay, June 12th will be the onset and anywhere between June 13th and 15th is when the first bout of heavy rains is expected. So uh, by first bout of heavy rains, I mean uh, the three, the magic three digit number, which is 100 mm per day. So that would happen most likely around 14th or 15th. Okay, That is what is my guess. Because this trough is strengthening. So this trough is slowly strengthening. Uh, so if you see the trough two days before, uh, this, this trough is very weak, right? And then it strengthens, right? So there is a strengthening of this trough. So that... Once the trough strengthens, then it is going to bring in a lot of moisture and it is also going to push these cloud bands towards the west coast of India, right? So starting from Kerala all the way to Bombay will benefit from this system. Uh, Bombay especially, I think it will receive a three digit uh, rains on 14th or 15th. So let us see how that goes. Um, that is what is my expectation. So to sum up, uh, under the influence of this Bay of Bengal system, monsoon is going to progress and uh, entire west coast is going to be benefited in terms of heavy rains. Okay, uh, So let us, uh, let me stop here and uh, I'll be back with more updates later as in when uh, any system forms in Arabian Sea or Bay of Bengal, I'll come up with more updates and especially for Bombay, uh, I will, uh, if anything changes, I'll let you know. Okay, but as of now, onset is looking around June 12th for Bombay and heavy rains are expected anywhere between June 13th and 15th. Okay, so please uh, uh, take care and enjoy these rains. I will be back with more updates later. Thank you for watching this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any feedback, please leave it in the comment section. Bye-bye.